shortcuts trick number 11 how to multiply two numbers ending in 5 let's see what does it mean for example we have two numbers 25 and 85 both are ending in 5 let's see the first trick the first step is just multiply the last number of course you'll always get a 25 here and then find the average of the remaining digits so what's the remaining digits other than 5 so there's 2 and 8 what's the average of 2 and 8 this is how you get the average soon you will not be spending so much time you just look at those two numbers and find the middle of it so it's 10 by 2 that's 5 so you have found the average then the product of the remaining digits the same number now we times it times these numbers and that's what we get and then add these two so if we add 16 and 5 what do we get 21 place them before 25 that's what we did 21 25 that's the multiple of these two numbers product of these two numbers another one 6.5 105 so when we are multiplying we just don't consider the decimal at the moment uh, the first step is the same you will get 25 then 6 and 10 what's the average for our 16 by 2 that's the that's 8 and what's the product that is 60 so if you add them you'll get 68 and as you said you place them so what do we get we get 6 8 2 5 and because there's a decimal after one place so we place a decimal here so that's what we get 60 6 80, 2, 1, 5. Okay. now this will not be always the case there will be some problems for example here 35 by 45 first step just 25 then we will average these two now when we average these two 3 and 4 the average will be 3.5 whenever you get something like this and that's the only difference you'll get you'll get 0 0.5 or you'll not get anything if you get a decimal 0 0.5 what you have to do let's see product is 12 if you add them you get 15.5 now because we had to place this 15 before 25 like this and this 0.5 part goes here so it's added just forget about this decimal so it will be added and you'll get 1575 so 5 plus 2 is 7 so in case of this whenever we are multiplying any number with the last digit is 5 you'll either get a 25 at the end or 75 at the end let's do another one so at the end there is 25 and 10 and 13 so what will be the average of 10 and 13 23 by 2 that is 11.5 you multiply it you get 130 if you add them you will get 141.5 again there is a 0.5 don't worry about that because this 141 and this 25 comes and this 5 is added to this so we get what 14175 and because there was there were decimals after two places here after one place here so there's two and one so that is after three places you'll place the decimal one two and three okay let's do another one here the numbers are 11 and 23 so the average of 11 and 23 if you add them that is 34 so the average must be 17 if you multiply 23 and 11 you know you'll get 253 253 the trick for multiplication by 11 is in uh, a previous video if you add them so you're getting 270 you just have to place them like this 270 and 25 
and the decimal is one and two after two places so that's your answer another one last is 25 now you have to find the average of 70 and 24 if you add them you get 94 so the average is 47 now you have to do the multiple the product 24 by 70 so the significant number is 7 7 times 4 is 28 7 times 2 is 14 it makes 16 and the 0 comes here so you have 1680 so you write 1680 and if you add it so you'll get 1727 so then your answer is this 1727 and this 25 which you always get and the decimal is after three places towards left okay see you again thanks